hey this is sensibility speaks welcome to my channel thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel discusses trending topics celebrity news and reality tv Oh, Marceau so Nuts, you Mr. Alpha Male running to Kimmy like she a damn mama talking about something. She just threw a whole drink on Tisha. Call the police. No, 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 no. Not you doing that. Is that a Freudian slip, honey? Are you used to running to your mommy? Is that why you treat women so bad, Marceau? Because you used to run into your mammy, child? Child with your fake misogynistic chauvinistic cigars. <laughs> Oh, Marso, no, your ass won't play in no ghetto ring around the roses. Goddamn musical chairs. Old boy was moving shit out the way, chairs and everything, trying to get to your ass. And you just running behind Tisha, whoever the hell was hiding you. Child, he should have laid hands on you. Ain't that your frat brother? Child, he was about to paddle whack your ass, won't he? Child, you lucky he ain't get to you. He's about to lay hands. He's about to lay the paws on you, my little scrappy voice. Child, you lucky he ain't whip your arse. But honey, had that been a woman, you would have been all trying to tower over her. You would have been talking ish. Oh, Mitch ass. I knew it was a reason why you ain't like women. Oh, scary ass. Child. No, ladies, they're going to say any and every to one another about everybody. And, and that's why they stay in so much damn drama. Don't y'all appreciate old shady ass producer? Child, I'm so glad they showed that clip. So Martel, oh Martiana, bust it down. What's your excuse for? So what's your excuse for being in so much drama with your conniving, and manipulative ass? Child, you don't go set your ass down somewhere. You like a damn spectator on your own show. Look at y'all off to the side all the damn time, and you gonna be off to the side a little bit more, child. As many damn booby traps as you tried to set for damn Dr. Melody, Cherie, and Honey. And guess what? It never worked out, did it? You demon. Don't oh, sit your spectating ass down. You ain't even front and center on your own damn show no more. Huh? I'm not dealing with this war crap no more. Check your husband. You even said where smoke that's fire. Hey, Kiki, stop giving her information, honey. Let the whole damn house burn down, child. Don't bless her with it. She don't want to know. But on a side note, look at Marcel, oh, guilty ass. He like, damn, I wish he just shut the elf up. Because one day Tisha, old dilly ass, gonna believe this ish. I know he like, damn, just shut up and disappear, Kiki. Look at him looking guilty as ish. Put that car out. All right. Maurice, sorry did that happen at your home. I get it. See, that's why I keep folks away from my eye. I can't tell a melody serious or being sarcastic, but she got me cracking the hell up this episode. But I'm gonna get to her in a second. I think Amin should have pulled Kiki aside before we even address this issue. Correct. You know, 100% correct. I think that that's part of the duty of a husband is to, you know, remove your wife when she's in the wrong. Yeah, he felt like it appeared that he felt like there was some measure of defending or supporting his wife that he was supposed to be doing. But you don't defend wrong. Kimmy, has it ever occurred to you that maybe Amin wasn't an earshot? He could have been on a peripheral, in the periphery, on the outskirts, and not nearby listening, okay? Of course he's going to defend his damn wife, especially when Hip's telling her that she needs to take a mother effing drug test and then jumping down to her like she another dude. Child, if you don't sit down somewhere, because I'm sure it had someone come at you, even though you may have been quote unquote wrong, okay? I'm sure Maurice would have defended you, Miss Kimmy. So see, I was gonna leave it alone, but it's a hypocrisy for me. So Kimmy, you say you don't defend wrong, but yet there are times that you knowingly defend Letitia when you know she is wrong as two left feet. Okay, calling Melody dark hearted and all this other ish, knowing that she just as jealous as a goddamn uh fat on her back, okay? Just as jealous as she can be. Child, the more jealous and the more envious she grows, the bigger she becomes. And I am not fat shaming. I'm just saying, child, she had a bad BBL and that fat transferred everywhere. Child, it's karma. But anywho, in all seriousness, let's go back to Maurice. Are you not your brother's keeper? Okay. Do you correct him 
with all of the bullshiggity that he does, right? You know, and all of the felonious, allegedly things that he's done. Do you ever say, brother, are you trying to go to jail? Why are you putting all this ish in your wife's name, right? Why are you starting projects that you know you can't finish since you are uh, an attorney and all? You got your juris doctorate, brother, okay? Child, they don't stop playing in our damn face. It's the picking and choosing for me of when to be a self-righteous avenger. Child, y'all don't stop. You're looking stupid. You're the one looking So let's talk about this. How could we have handled it differently? When she, when you spoke and she ignored you, what could you have done? I could have met that energy. Okay. Yeah. And not said anything else to the rest of the night, right. right? Kiki was out of line because one, you allowed somebody to take you to a place where you took it a step further in your disrespect by throwing a drink on them. Like you could, girl, you could just got up and walked away. I was. So I kind of get where Melody is going with this and I'm going to be totally objective here. I agree and disagree at the same time. So I think Melody may be wearing her executive producer hat, okay? Because she's looking at the big picture. You don't want to have physicality on a show and you don't want to have what some may perceive as being violent, even though to me it's not violent, but yeah, you're, you're overstepping the line by throwing things at people, assaulting people or whatever. But damn it, in my opinion, she deserved it. She had it coming. It is what it is. I don't condone violence, as I said before, but I get it. OK, and I think Melody may be looking out for Kiki because Tisha could easily say, you know, when it comes to next season and, and just try to really push this to say, I don't want to film with her anymore. I don't want her around or I don't feel safe around her. I feel like she may physically attack me, right? So I think Melody may be trying to look out for Kiki, but I know in the back of her mind, she probably thinking to herself, like, get her ass again. And I'm glad she got it. And I'm sorry. You know, she can't admit it, but who knows? Maybe they had side conversations, maybe not. But again, she's being professional and she's, again, wearing her EP hat. OK, and she's protecting Kiki at the end of the day so she can keep filming. So Tisha can't push the envelope and say or Marceau putting the battery in her bag saying I don't feel safe around her. Because remember, they never wanted her on the show in the first place because it's always been about Tisha with her spoiled ass trying to reign supreme, trying to be that it girl that she's really not. OK, all women are competition to her, be it cousin or whomever. And I guess she wanted my attention, so she started talking to Stormy about the situation with the whole <laughs> thing, the whole lot. What she wanted was to engage in conversation with you. That's why she gets right Can over in front wet, of you. Wet, wet, okay. okay. Yeah, That's why she gets right over in front of you and starts talking, talking, talking. And the whole thing came because you were ignoring her. Tisha, of course you were ignoring her, honey. Of course you were, because you were following your damn master, your puppet master. Marcel told your ass not to say anything to her, to engage her. And your old silly, okay, myself, I won't say nothing, girl, bye. Is whatever that rumors that Tisha and Marceau have to deal with, I don't know how Kiki felt she needed to be involved. Period. Nevertheless, come to the house on 10. Now, Kimmy, you stop playing too. You need to set your ass down somewhere talking about what did Kiki have to do with it. First of all, that's her first cousin and she's looking out for her best interest, even though she done probably told Tisha a gazillion times that her husband won't shit. Tisha know he ain't shit, but that's the only thing she can hold over people's head. I got a husband. Like, that's so a big of a deal. But anyway, it's a reality show, Kimmy. Yeah, she had every right to damn talk about it. Just like y'all were all in Melody and Martell or Marty on a bus it down. Just like y'all were all in their damn business for the first several damn seasons. Girl, bye. You know how this shit works. Did you know the energy was like that before today? Because Maurice wouldn't have invited them if we knew right, 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 it was right, like right, that. Wait, wait, Kim, Kim, Kim. The energy is like this because no one's believing her lies. She thought she had some information on me, right? Kiki has a history of talking about my marriage, and I've given her a teen amount of chances. But she did it again, and I'm done. I think that at the end of the day, Kiki feels that Tisha's living the life that she was supposed to live. And in that, there's nothing that Tisha can do to stop this business from her. So I just got to understand where she's at and move forward with that. So I have to be done. There's nothing else I can do. When I tell you Tisha is so delusional, she is so far up Marceau's arse. It's a wonder that she can breathe. My question to her would be, what part of your life does Kiki want? Is it the part to where you're dealing with a controlling, manipulative ass husband? Okay. 
that you got to get them ask permission to get them go outside? Or is it the part to where, albeit your name is on a company, so you guys can get certain set aside as a small woman owned business, right? To where you're a figurehead and you operationally do nothing with the company. Is it the part to where you're about allegedly $9 million or more in debt? Okay. Because you guys are in legal proceedings because you've started projects that are subpar, submarginal that you can't finish, i.e. what? Zen Garden and more? Is it that part of your life that she wants? Now, I know Kiki did mention that she always wanted to, I think she said she wanted to be on TV or whatever like that because she's a natural speaker and she's like a motivational type speaker, right? She's a whole college professor. She's extroverted. So she's used to, like Melody, speaking in front of large crowds. So, of course, you know, maybe being on TV or something like that is something that's in her wheelhouse. Tisha, that's not in your wheelhouse, honey. And I'm not even going to make fun of the fact that you have a speech impediment. But the, the issue is with you is you're wanting to be that girl, okay? You're wanting to, how can I put this? You're wanting to embody qualities that other people have because you can't accept who you are, okay? You're like a chameleon wanting to morph into other people because where you live at within yourself, you can't accept. Child, let me let me get off that damn soap house. But no, Marceau, you're gaslighting Tisha per usual, okay? Nobody wants Tisha life. Tisha barely want her own damn life, okay? Child, let me continue. We're going to wrap this thing on. There's something I want to talk to you face to face. I'm like, why? Why can't you tell me on the phone? We're talking about on the phone right now. By the way, we knew what it was about because the dude called her and they told us that night. But behind our back, she was trying to get some ass. It does not surprise me that Kiki and Tisha are off and that there's a situation. It must be real because Marceau's involved to protect his wife. That's rare. So something happened. Don't y'all just love the way that Tiffany just effortlessly shades the hell out of folk? And in this case, she ain't lying. She said, because it's rare for him to stand up for Tisha and is, right? Which means where there's smoke, there's fire, Leticia. God damn. I'm just trying to understand what actually happened. Everybody lying on Kiki. Me and Tisha lying on Kiki. The video that the news put out is lying. The video that they captured at this billion dollar company is lying. The police department is lying. And the only person we can believe is Kiki. And what your grandma used to always say, people lie to you, they'll steal from you. If they'll steal from you, they'll kill you. And that's why I'm keeping my distance. She lied to me. I feel like there's no benefit of me having a relationship with her. It's back to the same old drama, lying. At this point, I don't, I don't want it. They say that no one can hurt you more than family. And Kiki has absolutely proven that to be true. Kiki will never be in a position where she can hurt like this again. There's nothing worse than a family member that is evil. Yeah, I understand it. You're living her life. I found it ironic that Tisha said no one can hurt you the way the family does, yet you go out of your way to demean and diminish Kiki at every turn. You and Marceau telling all her damn business, which we're about to see in this last upcoming clip. But for you to say that she's evil, no, chick, you're fucking evil. The shit that you've done that we've just seen on TV um, to Melody Cherie, okay, to your own cousin. Ain't no telling um, how you are in real life. Well, this is your real life, but how you are outside of the show, the way that you project the evilness course and all through your veins onto others. It's easy to say um, that this one and that one is like that because that's your mentality, okay? Because you're a competitive evil chick period, okay, with your male-identified ass, but let's look at this last little part, and then we're going to talk about emotional intelligence and wrap this thing up, child, because I'm done. I think that there is some help that's still needed, but I haven't experienced, like, the, the hyper-violence. It's been more so sweats, stuff Wait, like that. Absolutely. Make up, then give it away. I'm not saying Stop just it. aggression. Marceau, cut it out. Now, Marceau is an utter a-hole, and there's no denying it. We're going to circle back to him before we close this thing out. But let me do a roundabout kickback over to Martel. He's sitting here upholding Marcel and his bullshit, okay, as he is making fun of Kiki's travesty, right? You need not be giggling and um, sniggling as this mofo to um, beat you out your own damn spot on your own show, child. And you damn near the, been demoted to a damn friend up. Yes, Martel, you're damn near a spectator on your own damn show, you know? Off to the side, almost like a goddamn sidekick and giggling and sniggling. Child, you can't make it up. All right, but let's look at some real emotional intelligence that Courtney will display Tisha's younger cousin, which is to be applauded, okay? 
to me, like, we don't need to make fun of it and make light of it because a lot of people struggle with drug use. You know, so it's not a funny topic. If Kiki is a drug addict, then you don't address that in the public eye. You pull this no. person aside. Well, Kiki, the, the dilemma is that she was in the public eye when she threw the drink. If you acknowledge that this person is on drugs, they're a drug addict, they threw the drinks because they're on drugs, do you respond by calling it out or do you be the person that understands that their mind is not there? Do me this favor. Everybody at the table, raise your hands if you drove around at 2 o'clock in the morning and picked her up off the side of the street. If you've done it multiple times, if you had a conversation with her four or five hours about it. See, this is a backstabbing that's not for everybody. Part of this is anger. Another part of this is hurt. Because we were there for you when your mom wasn't, when your cousin weren't, when your husband wasn't. We get to be the ones that got to suffer through it. And oh, no, no, she's just on drugs. Let us just get the dead. So the fact that Courtney is probably amongst the youngest people there, she may be, I don't know, maybe a little older than Jalen, the younger cousin of Kiki and Letitia. She is displaying emotional intelligence. She has compassion and empathy for her cousin Kiki, unlike Tisha, who lacks empathy. But I think the lack of empathy that Tisha has is stemming from her needing to feel better than, her needing to one-up her needing to have something over Kiki's head because, again, she's a competitive woman when it comes to other women. She's just not a girl's girl. She is very male-identified, and she's so insecure, in my opinion, and her self-worth leaves a lot to be desired. You know, she likes to throw shit in people's face, and any reason that she could use to throw Kiki away and to treat her harshly, she did. You know, it just happened to be that she fell prey to substance abuse, you know, as it relates to the painkillers. It's not something that she sought out to do. You know, shit happens, okay? She's beating it. Where's your, your sympathy and empathy for her, Tisha? But anyway, let's move on to Marceau. Honey, when I tell you that is a ruthless man, in my opinion, in, in my opinion he is cunning, he is ruthless, He's very calculating and he's manipulative. He's just a narcissist, okay? You said you have hurt and anger toward Kiki. No, I think you're just being an a-hole, you know? In my opinion, Marceau is just a bully. And any bullying tactics he can use to wield power over people, he will do just that. Because I think he has some deep-seated and deep-rooted insecurities himself. And I don't think he likes women, okay? He may lust after women, but I don't think he really likes women. So misogynistic men and chauvinistic men, they tend to see women as the weaker sex, as it were. And so that being said, he will bully a woman, okay, because he sees a woman as weaker, less than, or whatever. And case in point, he also, in my opinion, he low-key bullies Martel. I don't mean like he's going to threaten to beat Martel's ass. He plays head games with Martel, and he gaslights the hell out of him. And as we all know, he preyed upon him, and I think he helped contribute to the demise of him, him and Melody's marriage. So anyway, yes, he's definitely a bully. And so I think he's very ruthless, he's power-hungry, and he's just a mofo, you know, period. In my opinion, of course he's not going to like Kiki, in conclusion, because anyone who threatens the control that he has over Tisha, he's going to dislike them, Okay. He has a tight grip on Tisha, and Tisha act like she got goddamn Stockholm Syndrome. This is as clueless as she want to be, but I think at this point, she's a willing participant, okay? It is what it is. She's just so happy to say that she got the title wife. But anywho, and early on, I meant to say that I don't like the fact that Marceau tries to conflate issues, trying to paint the narrative and tarnish her image, saying that she's a liar, talking about Kiki, because of the whole Home Depot debacle, her getting arrested or whatever but no charges has been pressed or whatever hell she ain't got locked up she ain't got no um no felony or misdemeanors but you're trying to use that as a smoke and mirrors because you don't want to face the allegations or the suppositions that your ass cheated and allegedly had a damn threesome and messing with the damn makeup artist period okay but anyway i'm gonna do another video i didn't mean to make this one so long but i'm gonna do another one because cha the social media streets have been popping and jumping, child, because Kiki been um, putting out receipts and then Courtney, she done responded and all this, child, just in terms of what they feel about um, Tisha's marriage and blah, blah. And Kiki just blew up their spot, but I ain't going to talk about that here. But anyway, y'all drop down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think. This is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.
my regular life. I'm talking to 